美国众议院的议长佩洛西在八月二号晚间率团访台，引发了中国跳脚，宣布对台经济制裁。中国商务部宣布，八月三号开始暂停天然砂销往台湾，使得本土营造商很担心，一旦影响层面扩大，恐怕会面临着断料，甚至是营建成本上涨，被迫停工，进而牵动了房价。不过，台湾的预拌混凝土业者认为说，进口的料源不同，目前暂无影响。同时，决定暂停天然砂对台出口。For the export suspension of natural sand toward Taiwan, the construction industry in Taiwan has been suffered the most. They have been worried that once the domestic supply of sand material reduces, the price of sandstone might increase. If the cost of construction goes too high to afford, the construction needs to be ceased. Even the housing price cannot stay out of the storm. 大陆本来就禁止砂石出口到台湾呐、啊，只是都是，哎，睁一眼闭一眼的。那现在目前这么大张旗鼓的说宣布输出的话，我想短时间的话，大概是。没有办法进到台湾，这是确定的事。那有可能直接影响就有可能停工嘛？因为砂石直接影响就是一半水泥业界的这个使用的这个断掉的这个引用。我估计市场应该等着。The building contractor reveals that the price gouging is not the only thing we should worry about. Even we import natural sand from Southeast Asia, the quality is relatively bad. If we import from Vietnam, the shipping cost is relatively high, and the price of imported sandstone is bound to go up. Plus, there are many large public construction projects ongoing in Taiwan, which implies the huge demand. 菲律宾的砸石太多，越南因为那个太远了，所以那个航运的那个成本不划算。The sandstone the domestic listed ready mix concrete contractor need, including Taiwan Cement and Asia Cement Corporation, is mainly supplied from the eastern part of Taiwan. The 40% domestic sandstone are from the eastern part of Taiwan, 10% from the northern area. A professional in the industry indicates that we don't import anyone in Taiwan. The natural sands in China are from the river beds. And the manufacturer sands we import are extracted from the mines. Hence, there is no difference for now. China's such action is merely intimidating than the actual economic sanctions. The industry is highly concerned about whether it will affect the source of materials in the short term. 中国海关在八月一号深夜突然对台湾食品业开闸之后。在八月三号又声称多次从台湾柑橘类水果验出有害生物，以及在白带鱼和冻竹夹鱼包装上验出了新冠病毒核酸阳性，借此来宣布禁止台湾柑橘类水果和冰鲜白带鱼、冻竹夹鱼输入中国。Taichung City as the major citrus production area, most of its citrus rely on overseas markets. But China has announced that the suspension of citrus fruit, frozen goods, ribbon fish, and jack mackerel imported from Taiwan. Again, China made another action. Take a look at the reason of suspension this time. China has claimed that the citrus fruits imported from Taiwan was detected pests and pesticide residues in excess of the standard. Also, the frozen ribbon fish and jack mackerel imported from Taiwan in June this year was detected COVID-19. From August 3rd, all three products will be suspended. On the day before, thousands of food factories in Taiwan were banned from importing. It's obviously a revenge. Xinzhu, Taichung, Jiayi, and Tainan, and so on have large citrus fields, but most of them are for domestic sales. As for selling abroad in Asia, Singapore and Japan are the major market and storage citruses for Brunei and Germany. 
However, the ribbon fish for export are suffering. It's not even January and February as a production season, so fishermen don't really feel it. But they are also expecting to expand the export channel to reduce the damage to the best. 中国陆续抛出了多项的禁令，被说是报复性的行为。因此，今天的英文关键字就是 revenge， 报复。怎么说呢 ？China bans thousands of food factories in Taiwan from importing. It's obviously a revenge. 就是说，中国对台湾有上千家食品厂禁止进口，报复意味浓厚。